All right, listen up. Can we please chill for a second with all the gaming news right now? I'm sitting here trying to catch up with all the stuff that they dropped on us after yesterday's Xbox showcase. I just got done watching and reacting to the Star Wars Outlaws trailer, and now they just dropped the Star Wars Outlaws official gameplay walkthrough with the Ubisoft forward presentation. I was also today years old when I found out that was happening, so thank you guys. Everyone on Twitter, it's because of you guys that I know about this. Anyway, I'm sure you guys are just as excited as I am to check out the gameplay trailer because if you're like me, cinematic trailers are awesome, but I really want to get down to the nitty gritty and see what the actual gameplay is going to look like. I want to get a feel for the vibe and the look of pretty much what I'm going to be looking at majority of the way through a game. Thank you guys so much for clicking on the video today. I am so sorry for f bombarding you with all of these videos recently. I honestly feel so bad about it. Like, your notifications are probably going off the wall if you haven't turned off the notifications already. So thank you again for putting up with me. All right, without further ado, let's jump in and watch. <laughs> Work in progress does not represent the final quality. It's got like pigtails, it's so cute. That is the cutest thing. Norm normally it's the droids that are really cute. I want one. Or ten. Alright, Nex. Let's go get paid. Ooh. Ooh, getting paid is nice. Huh? <laughs> wow. Oh, yay, Stell. Yay, that thing I'm really good at. Yeah. I like that it seems like the UI isn't very messy. That, honestly, for someone like me, Sometimes a messy UI can be very Next. distracting. It can be very overwhelming, especially when you're trying to learn the controls. <gasps> you can control your little- Hit that button. Cutie that I forgot the name of. I need it. Nice one. That thing's a bloody genius. Oh, cool. Hang on tight, little buddy. Oh, ooh. Okay, okay, we'll figure this out. Ooh, the shooting looks really good. It feels like impactful. But I like how bright and colorful it is, though. just thinking in my head. I was like, I wonder if you can use different guns. Question answered. Quit reading my mind, please. Thank you. Kind of weird. <gasps> no, is that the Can we explore all of that in the distance I think though? That went pretty well, right? <gasps> Speeder. Let's go. Oh my god. And speeder combat too. Hang on. Oh, like a VAT system? That was close. Did you guys think of everything? Like what? Ninety-five. I got the pack. 
package. Where are you? I'm waiting for you and Jonta's Hope. Were you seen? I said I got it. What else matters? Should I assume we won't be working for the Pikes anytime soon? Um, well, they'll probably forgive me. Comforting. <laughs> Wow, open world. There's Jonta's hope. I can't get over that. It looks it looks really good. If this is what it looks like in the more early stages, this looks pretty good already. Hey, Andy. You're late, Kay. Doc is waiting. What? Are you worried? No. Okay. Too cool. No, but you're dry. What? Be careful. Donka is a broker, not a friend. She can't be trusted. Who can out here? <laughs> See you back at the ship. and I still like my odds. <laughs> Kay Vess. Kay Vess. I told you she's fresh, but she's good. Who's this? Just a friend. Join us. Mm-hmm. Judging by that suit, are we Your job sure? was more complicated than you said, Dunka. You lived. Toys. Um, don't touch it. They're investments. <laughs> Wait. We haven't met. Don't really know many of you. Mm -hmm. Stealing illegal contraband, running with syndicates. I could say you're a threat to the Empire. <laughs> but I won't have to. You're smart. She kind of reminds me of Iden Versio a little bit. If you've ever played Thanks. the more I'm recent Battlefront Two game, out of trouble. you pay the tax oh, just like everyone else. Whoa, kid, let's just relax. You won't make a Doctor Shah alive. Maybe. Oh, um... That Imperial announcement wouldn't be about you, would it? Oh, that's a cool wanted thing. Very clear. Not the first time we bought around the Empire. <laughs> sure, it won't be the last. I can't get over how cute that thing is. We need to leave. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, I want to see how the ship flies. We get to drive it. We get to drive it. We do. Yo. Nice. on the sensors. Oh my god! We, we get to actually go into space. Anybody on the sensors now? Yeah. TIE Fighters on us. Got one! I feel inclined to remind you that we should shake the Empire. Quickly. Thanks, I'm working on it. Oh, I can't wait to feel how it actually shoots, though. It seems like there's a nice targeting system. Andy, get us out of here. <gasps> Hyperdrive! Woo! 
Let's jump. I think you know what I'm gonna say. And I'm gonna say that that was really cool. <laughs> that, that, that's really cool. <laughs> we made it. What? Great, great quest animation. Hey. Got your new toy. So, where do we go next? Anywhere we want. different worlds we're gonna get to see. Sounds like, ah, uh, yeah. Star Wars Outlaws. What? 2024. Okay, am I just really bad at sensing time? Or was that not actually ten and a half minutes? I swear. This has happened to me so many times recently. It's actually starting to freak me out. There were definitely a couple things that stood out. And I want to see if I can remember most of them. First off, that little puppy creature thing is so damn cute. And thank you so much for just ripping the band-aid off right at the beginning for me with introducing stealth mechanics, which I am not great at. So that is something that I'm going to be preparing for before playing this game. But in all honesty, it looks really, really fun. I'm sure it's going to be something that you'll get better at the more you play the game. And there's a lot of different ways to approach certain situations. And then of course, of course, we cannot miss the fact that this is open world. I can't really think of too many Star Wars games as of right now, except for the MMO. That's obviously a little bit more on the open world side, but most games, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure you guys will, but I can't think of too many games that are truly open world. Oh, 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 I mean, okay, 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 okay. I scratch that, take that back. I would say that Star Wars Jedi Survivor and Jedi Fallen Order had elements of open world, especially Survivor. Fallen Order, not so much, but I would say Survivor even more so, but this looks like it's more expanded than Survivor is, and I am a sucker for exploration, side missions, all that. I get so sidetracked so easily, and if you guys have been around my channel and you've watched my gameplay for a while, this is not new to you. I feel like the main character is going to have a lot of sass, a lot of sarcasm, and a lot of tood. Classy, sassy, bit smart assy, and I am here for it. Oh my gosh, and I'm so excited for the speeders. There's also going to be combat on speeders. There's also, they kind of showed something that looks reminiscent of Fallout VAT system. I don't know, based on this gameplay trailer, if that's going to take place in like foot combat when you're on your feet walking around and shooting things. But we definitely had it demonstrated on vehicles, so that's gonna be cool. I loved how big and flashy the wanted symbol was. Like it was right up in your face. You could not miss it. And I wanna speak a little bit on that too with things sticking out very easily. I am saying that because I'm definitely someone when I'm playing a game, and people like to comment on this in my videos a lot, that I miss things, and I do. And that's because I feel like in a lot of games previously, depending on the game, it's not all games, but there are definitely some games that make it a little bit harder, maybe because of the color of things, of icons, of quest indicators, stuff like that. It is really, really, really nice for someone like me when they have big, bright, bold colors, things that are integrated into the gameplay very smoothly, 
but it's very obvious what it's trying to tell you. But it's not distracting and it doesn't seem out of place. I just, I think that they did that very well. And then I want to end with how awesome it's going to be to actually fly a ship, fly it around the planet, fly it into outer space, and even use hyperdrive to probably get to a new galaxy or solar system or what have you. It already looks really, really really pretty and I'm sure as they continue development it'll look even better and I'm wishing them the best of luck. I obviously want this game to do well. It looks like it has a lot of potential and I will definitely be following it in the future. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys thought of this gameplay walkthrough trailer. I think it looks pretty good. Once again, I am rooting for the team behind this game. Good luck with development. I'm wishing you guys all the best in the future. If you guys are looking forward to potential gameplay of this game, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell button on this channel to get notified when I start uploading those videos. Also, while you're here, make sure to check out all the links down below in the description if you guys want to keep the conversation going and gush about all the freaking gaming news we just got within the past 48 hours. It's been so overwhelming. Feel free to follow me on Twitter. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.